As war rages on in the Middle East, ISIS recruiters are constantly on the lookout for vulnerable youth to join their cause. Unfortunately, these children are unaware that they are biting off more than they can chew. Here are 10 kids who joined ISIS. Marlon Stevani Navarlane Having dropped out of school when she was 14 years old, Marlene Stevani Navarlane knew nothing of ISIS or Islam before meeting her 19-year-old boyfriend online. He convinced her that life would be better in Syria and the two fled Sweden traveling to Turkey in May 2015. Once there, they were met by ISIS members that brought them into Syria where they were given a house. The home had no heat, running water or electricity, and Marlin soon became homesick. She was rescued in October 2015 after escaping once and returning to her boyfriend. Her boyfriend was later killed in an airstrike. Jake Bellardi as the youngest of six children, Australian Jake Bellardi was a difficult child and prone to violent outbursts for attention. His father told the media that he ignored his son's obvious psychological issues as a child and regretted it after he lost touch following a messy divorce. Jake reconnected with his father, but the 18-year-old seemed even more distant than ever. Shut up in his room for hours, he would watch Islamic State propaganda before adopting Islam and becoming radicalized. He decided to join ISIS's fight and set off for Iraq in early 2015. Unfortunately, he died a suicide bomber after being used as the poster boy for the terrorist group. Samra Kasinovich and Sabina Selimovich in 2014, friends Samar Kasinovic and Sabina Selimovic disappeared from their homes in Austria. They were 17 and 15 at the time and left notes for their families telling them that they were leaving to serve Allah. It was believed that the girls had been brainwashed by an Islamist preacher in Vienna. Once they had joined ISIS, they were clad in burqas and married off to ISIS fighters. They were used as gifts for new soldiers and were expected to perform sexual acts. Sadly, Samra was beaten to death with a hammer when she tried to escape, and Sabina was killed during a fight in the jihadi stronghold of Al Raqqa. Tala Asmal 17-year-old Tala Asmal was described by his family in West Yorkshire, England as a kind and caring teenager with no ill feelings toward anyone. He was never thought to have any radical views until unknown internet predators targeted his innocence and warped him into believing that joining ISIS was his purpose. Asmal traveled to Syria with another teen in April 2015. A few months later, photos surfaced of Asmal in a vehicle filled with explosives which he drove into the northern Iraqi town of Baiji and detonated. Eleven people were killed by the explosion and it is believed that Asmal was among them. Isa Dare after Grace Khadija Dare became radicalized in 2012, she moved with her son, baby Isa, from southeast London to Syria. Isa became known as Jihadi Jr. after he appeared in execution videos sent by ISIS across the internet. Clad in camouflage clothing, the video shows the young boy pushing a detonator button which causes a car holding four prisoners to explode. He also says they are going to kill the kafir, non-believers. Isa's grandfather is disgusted and believes that his grandson is being used as a tool. Isa and his mother have reportedly been spotted in Sweden where Isa is believed to be undergoing treatment for an illness medics in Al Raqqa could not treat. Sharmina Begum when 15-year-old Sharmina Begum's mother passed away due to cancer, the teen's life began to fall apart. Desperate to flee her life in the UK, Begum decided to run to Syria in December 2014 after being lured in by ISIS propaganda. In June 2015, Begum contacted her family to tell them she was married to an ISIS fighter. It was originally believed that she was lured via the internet, but it was discovered in August 2015 that she was in introduced to the radical way of thinking at an East London mosque where a women's group gathered. Khan Siblings 
In October 2014, 19-year-old Mohammed Hamza Khan of Bolingbrook, Illinois, woke and went to a nearby mosque to pray, as he did most days. No one knew that he had planned to leave Chicago that night to travel to Syria. They also didn't expect him to take his younger teenage brother and sister with him, but that's exactly what happened. The trio required passports, visas, and plane tickets to Istanbul, where they would meet their contact to get them into Syria and and ISIS. In Khan's mind, he was going to help Muslims and there would be no need for him to fire a gun. However, they never made it. Their parents were able to alert the police and they were apprehended at the airport. Mohammed Robel When a bridge collapsed in Minnesota back in 2007, 10-year-old Mohammed Robel was lucky to be alive when his school bus fell more than 30 feet. Eight years later, he received a settlement of more than $65,000 to compensate him. It was believed that Robel then traveled to Syria via Turkey once he received the money. Once in Syria, he handed out money like it was nothing and even paid for cars and weddings for other ISIS fighters. According to his therapist, Robel turned to religion following the accident in 2007 and felt that God had saved him for a purpose, and that purpose was fighting for ISIS. Khadiza Sultana at the age of 15, Khadiza Sultana and two of her friends traveled to Turkey from their homes in East London. From there, they made their way to Syria where they were immediately married off to ISIS fighters. Within months of their weddings, two of the girls were left widowed and Sultana began to feel disillusioned about their life in al Raqqa. They had pledged their allegiance to ISIS, however, and the only way to leave was in death. Her parents received word in June 2016 that their daughter may have been killed in an airstrike. Zara and Salma Halane Twins Zara and Salma Halane from Manchester, England, first began to show interest in Syria in December 2013 when a teacher caught Salma viewing images of ISIS propaganda on the college computers. It was not reported to the police as Salma claimed she was looking for her older brother who had traveled to Syria. In June 2014, the twins stole 840 pounds from their family and fled during the night to Syria. The 17-year-old girls were married off to ISIS fighters, both of whom were killed, but Salma was able to conceive a son beforehand. Known to the media as the Terror Twins, the girls send messages to their family encouraging them to join them. Let us pray for world peace and safety. Have a beautiful day and thank you for watching.